It's Wednesday, February 8th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. Trinity, my friend on Facebook, says, What do you say to teens who want to commit suicide? What a great question. But I would reword it, actually, Trinity. What do you say to people who want to commit suicide? Do you know there are children committing suicide these days? It's an epidemic right now. Younger children committing suicide. Can you imagine that? A lot of older people that are doing the same. Some people, we call it euthanasia. You know, people that commit suicide because they don't want to live any longer and they want to uh, maybe escape an illness or difficult times or whatever, but they want to euthanize themselves. They want to die. And it's just a fancy word for committing suicide. What do you say to people who want to die? That's a tough one, isn't it? Some of you know what it's like to feel that way. And obviously you didn't commit suicide or you wouldn't be listening to me. But I've been around suicide several times. A few years ago, one of the guys that was living at my house committed suicide at my house. It was a really, really difficult time. He had so much to live for. He was just in his 20s. And he left behind a daughter and he left behind people that really loved him. I was one of them. And it was so difficult to do. And I'll never forget the funeral, having to preach the funeral and and just being very broken through the whole thing. So difficult. Why did he die? I don't know all the reasons. He didn't tell me that he was about to do that. I wish he would have. And I, you know, I played all those games thinking, I, what should I have said? I should have noticed, I, I should have seen the signs. But you don't always. And usually, folks, people that commit suicide, that really go through it, that a lot of times it's a surprise. Well, I can't bring him back. But I can talk to those of you that are contemplating this. And again, the question is, what do you say to someone who wants to commit suicide? And here's what I tell them. Go ahead. But just kill what needs to die. Don't kill yourself. And folks, that is the key. You know, all of us from time to time feel death inside of us. There's a situation that's out of control. Somebody who loved us says, I don't love you anymore. You know, difficult relationships, difficult uh, time making it financially, whatever it might be. There's so many reasons why people commit suicide. And we always do because we feel death. And when you feel death inside, you feel like the only answer is death, to put yourself completely out of the misery. But that isn't the answer. The answer is killing what needs to die. Now, if you're feeling out of control, if the financial problems are way too big, if you've lost the love of your life and you feel like you can't go on, folks, that's what friends are for. That's what the body of Christ is for. You need to talk about it. You need to. You can talk to me. You can talk to people around you, but please do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Every time somebody commits suicide, there are people around them saying, why didn't he just talk to me? And people are so willing to listen. Isn't it interesting that people are so embarrassed when they have a problem, they'd rather kill themselves than talk about it? Please don't do that. You know, suicide is very, very final very final. And so many people commit suicide when they would have gotten through whatever they're going through in just a matter of time. It wasn't the end. And, you know, most of us who have lived this long have gone through really difficult times where you have felt like you'll never be okay. You're never going to get through. Things are horrible. But you do. And folks, let me say, if you're one of those who has gotten through, you need to encourage those who are still getting through. You know, sometimes as Christians, we paint a picture like everything's fine and we don't have any problems. That's the worst thing you can do. You need to be honest with people and you need to tell them about your difficulties and your past mistakes and your triumphs. You need to tell them about those times when you felt like you couldn't make it. You need to tell them about those times when you contemplated suicide. You need to be an encouragement for people that are going through it. And for those of you 
that feel suicidal even today? Just kill what needs to die. Figure out what it is that's making you feel that way and devise a plan to get through it. Financial problems, there are ways to get through. Nothing is that important. Relationship problems, it hurts a lot, but you'll get through it. Just kill what needs to die. I hope that's an encouragement for you. God bless you. Have a great day.